All right, so in this video, I want to talk about why I personally don't like triple leveraged ETFs for trading options. All right, so first, let's look at the chart of the SPY. So the SPY is an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index, so the top 500 companies in the States. You can see that in February, February 10, it was trading at 337. Right now, we are August 7, it's trading at around 333, 334. So almost at the same price as it was trading at back in February 10. In fact, it's only 1% away from all time highs. Now let's look at UPRO. Now this is a triple leveraged ETF that tracks the S&P 500, but it amplifies the daily movements by three times. So if the SPY moves by 1% in a day, UPRO will move 3%, whether it goes up or down. So February 10, UPRO was trading at 79.86 when SPY was trading at around 337. Right now, August 7, UPRO is trading at 55.8. So it is 30% away from all-time high. So notice SPY is only 1% away from all-time high, but UPRO is 30% away from all-time high or February 10th price. Let's say you had bought shares of UPRO at this at this price here, you're not even guaranteed or certain that eventually it'll come back up to the original purchase price. While SPY, on the other hand, because it tracks the general market, you know that eventually it'll come back up. And as you can see, we're on our way back up and we're almost going to reach February 10 prices again, while UPRO is 30% away from reaching February 10 prices. So it doesn't move in correlation. Triple leveraged ETFs are meant to be traded intraday. So it's best for day trading. So it's for day traders that want to take advantage of the daily movements of something safe like the SPY, something predictable like the SPY, but they want the movements to be amplified. So they use UPRO because it's amplified by three times, but it doesn't mean that it's good to hold overnight. If you buy it at a certain price, it is not guaranteed that eventually it'll come back up to that same price as you could see here. Imagine if you sold puts at this price, you sold puts at 75, for example, when it was trading at 79, you sold an out of the money put at 75 and then the stock dropped and you decide to roll at 75. You keep rolling your put for a credit every week. Well, you might be rolling forever because you don't know when it, it will reach 75 again. It might not reach it while the SPY on, on the other hand has already reached it. Let's look at IWM, which tracks the uh, Russell 2000 index, the small caps. So February 10 was trading at 167.9 right now it's at 155. So it's about 8% away from February 10 prices. Now let's look at TNA, which tracks the uh, IWM or the uh, Russell 2000 index, but amplifies the daily movements by three. So February 10 was trading at 73 right now it's trading at 34. So it's 53% away from all-time highs or, or from uh, February 10 prices. So do you see why triple leverage is dangerous to hold overnight? It's not meant for holding overnight. It's really meant for day trading in and out the same day. Imagine you did covered calls on TNA because the premiums were higher and you ended up buying the stock at $70, let's say. Well, you'd be stuck holding the stock and you wouldn't even be able to sell call options against it or covered calls because you premiums at a $70 price would have nothing and the stock is still trading at 34 and it might take forever to come back up. It might not even reach that same price again while IWM is on its way back to February 10 prices. It's only 8% away while this one's over 50% away from February 10 prices. Triple leverage ETFs have high premiums. But you have to find a way to take advantage of it where you're not stuck holding the stock overnight. And the reason behind that is really simple math. So let's say we start off with the price of 100. And let's say a stock drops 10% in one day. So if it drops 10%, 10% 10 of 100 is $10. So it's going to reach 90 times 0.9. It's going to reach 90. A triple leverage ETF that tracks this stock will drop instead of dropping 10%, will drop 30%. So if we start off at 100 and it drops 30%, it's going to reach 70, 70. Now let's say the next day that stock, that $90 stock reaches 100. So for that $90 stock to reach 100, it would have to go up by 11%. So it would drop by 10, but it actually has to go up by 11% to reach back 100. So let's say that happens. If it reaches, if it goes up 11% the next day to reach 100, that means that triple leveraged ETF will go up by 33% because it goes up by three times the daily movement. So remember that triple leverage ETF we said was trading at 70. So times 1.33 is only 93. So that regular ETF reached its original price, but that triple leverage ETF did not reach its original price. And now depending on how we move forward, the gap can get bigger and bigger. And sometimes you might never reach the original purchase price. Now, the only way to reach the original purchase price is if, if the original stock keeps going up 
every day. But if the original stock just has regular daily movements, gradual movements up and down, up and down, then that triple leverage ETF might never reach that original purchase price again. So once again, this is personally why I don't like using triple leveraged ETFs to trade options because some option strategies force you to hold the trade overnight or more than a week. My favorite strategy would be selling puts, for example. So if I sell a naked put on TNA, maybe right now it looks good to sell a naked put on TNA because it's really down. But it, let's say I was trading puts over here and I was doing well, doing well, and then I'm continuing continuing to sell naked puts. And I sold at 70 or 75. And then I, get, then I got tested. So if I don't take my loss and move on, and I just hold on to the put and keep rolling it because that's one way of managing a naked put that gets tested then i'm never going to come back up above my original put strike if i'm doing covered calls and i bought 100 shares at this price at 70 and i'm selling call options against it every week or every month collecting premiums higher premiums because they're it's a triple leveraged etf but at some point the stock is going to drop hard on me i still own my shares at a 70 dollar price i've collected a lot of premiums but now i can no, i can no longer sell premiums at a 70 strike because it's worth nothing. It has no premiums. I'm gonna have to sell premiums at a lower strike than risking losing my shares at a lower price. So let me know what you think, if you if you agree with me or not. Leave them in the comment section below. I'm open to all feedback. Just wanted to share my thoughts on this. And like always, if you can open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market, use my referral code in the description below to get $50 in free trades. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.